Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna jump back into this Batmobile and Gravity Sketch. And as you can see from the last video to this video, I've started adding a few more details. If I go into my reference images, you can start to see where I started pulling from some of the details. Um, this, let's see, unlock that. So you can start to see where I started to pull a little bit of these reference detail images kind of for information. If you look at them, pick and choose which which details that I liked. I like this right here in the middle. So I started adding a little bit more pipes and stuff and kind of going back and forth between what I like and what I don't like about some of them. So right here, um, I kind of took this round part in here and there was another image where you can see it in this one where I kind of took a little bit of that a little bit more made it more round it's made from the I don't remember if I did a video on it or if not but I can show you actually what that model is created out of and if I were to go to edit you can actually see that this is from the revolve tool in here scale this down to be a little bit more manageable the thing I like about this is that you can actually kind of refine this after you've done it so if I didn't like some of this to be a little bit more like that I can, I can adjust it to be a little bit more custom to what I like and there you go and changed it just a little bit um, the same thing with this little piece right here I did that if I didn't like what I did I can actually modify it and go from there we can actually pull this up if we want to be a little bit more like that or a little different <clears throat> what I do want to try to get completed is this piece right here and I was kind of playing around with how to incorporate this with that because one of them has the detail some of them don't if you go to this one right here it's in the front, but then they put like this little um, you know, detail in front of it that this kind of works for me. I like the old school Tim Burton Batmobile, so I might pull some of the details in there. The other thing I'm trying to do is actually incorporate this to follow along with this original mesh, so I have to pull, pull up and down some of the details um, as you go. A little bit hard to see with this material. I might need to brighten up the environment. That will help see a little better. So let's go to workspace and let's just brighten up things a little bit. If it'll help it not too much. Sometimes it's hard to see, and so either I might have to adjust the I have to adjust the texture of the material of this Batmobile. So let's go ahead and do that so we can see a little bit better. Batmobile, let's lock everything else. We don't have to worry about anything being grabbed. And just make this big enough to grab with our tool. Go to the color. And then, warning, active layer is locked, whatever I had grabbed. Let's just brighten it up for this exercise. I don't know what it's trying to grab, but we'll get the, the thing looking right. And tune lines kind of help seeing where everything is. Um, this actually gives it a little bit more cleaner. Let's go with the clay. I like that. That's something that they were talking about that they had added. If you follow the email, you get the you get a clay version. So let's go ahead and use that to our advantage. Now you can kind of see what we have. It looks like I built some of these other pieces in a, in a different area or something. Batman 
and layers. So let's drag those into. Let's drag those to the Batmobile. We'll turn it off. So that's another one that goes in there. These layers are kind of tricky sometimes. Where now I'm not a scrap. I wish you could multiple select unless there's an option to do that, but I don't know how to do that yet. And I'll go ahead and grab this and put this in here too. Let's see what if everything's in here. Just Batman. And let's go ahead and change his color to whatever we had right here. Same thing with this. Let's go ahead and grab that color. Go to that. Let's see if that didn't mirror over. Let's see what this is. See, let's grab this piece. I might have accidentally deleted it if I did do it. And uh, let's do mirrored. There you go. Easy fix. You can start to see where some of the seams are not connected. And I'll just probably connect those as I finalize this design and get things a little bit more polished off. I may even just bridge this to cover that, but we'll see what we can do. I think another program where I could just actually weld these pieces might help a little bit better and go from there. So, but for my needs, I just wanna just wanna get some started and just playing around with this program, like what it can do. And instead of here, let's turn off these references because I don't really need those. Where we can move them aside. So what I like to do is just kind of add some more details back inside this Batmobile and let's go ahead and look at these. So we'll go, go ahead and put some of this little cube detail inside of here and go from that. But first, yeah, let's fix that. We got sidetracked with the little details in there. So a lot of this is just kind of pushing pulling these little details in here and getting the look you want this is close to that you can get some more loops and stuff cut in here or something in here let's see what happened so some geometry I'll just close that off close that close that drag this back get some detail I'll just start adding little edge loops here let's see how that looks does it look like a Batmobile a little bit so let's go ahead and move this up using my constraint so I don't go anywhere off that. So a little closer to what the Tim Burton version is without the rounded front. We can actually add that back in, but do we want to copy it 100%? I don't know. Let's see. Let's push this back down a little bit. more of an open let's see let's go with that and see what we can do so you can start to see how the car is coming together I'm still trying to get some of these little details and then stuff like this is where I really want to just kind of grab a piece of modeling and convert it to a mesh and then we can start adding some detail this is where the 
parts start to come together and you just start adding edge loops where you need and we'll start going from here and then it's just those little details that you want to push and pull so if I see like I want to pull this out you can start to see where it's going to be oh this is starting to add a little more detail into that so pushing and pulling some of this I might not want to push and pull that part I might go from here and then add that. that way you can start to see some some shape and it's not so uh, rigid of what it is we can actually start to um, push down some of this if you really want that way it looks like it's it's kind of folding in on itself a little bit pick that up push that back and see what we got and playing with these angles kind of helps give a little more interest so when you look at it from a distance you start to see shapes come together a little bit better uh, this right here we'll just clean it up and that was more straight on in there we'll put that together and go from here so now that you kind of get the idea we'll add another piece of geometry in here and do a little bit more detail so we'll go to our tool primitives and add another cube and we can start something out here and we can start to shape this a little bit better and we'll start to push and pull and this is really where some of the details is just adding adding and subtracting we'll make sure we have this on a mirror that way we can have it on both sides and then we can add that after it's always good to keep it consistent so we'll go ahead and add just a little bit right there some little piece that kind of holds it together and then we'll start adding some detail in this so let's go ahead and pull this out a little bit more I'm gonna push this over and you'll start to see where we're going to convert this over subdivisions Let's just start adding some points just to kind of get a little, little bit of a feeling going. Start pulling out pieces and let's get that, pull that out. Let's see. I'm gonna delete that, connect, connect. really just kind of playing around with little details we can actually grab this and, and extrude back to kind of give it some more of a, a depth or a panel inside of this and then we'll just grab some points and pull them out and give it a give it a little bit more variation so you can start to see we can grab points pushing it in um, we can grab a big chunk and push these back There's no real kind of thing to kind of get these to look perfect. We're just trying to fill this gap of making it look like there's some machinery and stuff in here. And we can actually start to go in and start adding more detail if we need. What I like to do is see, we'll just add a cut, a cut, and a cut, and then we'll just kind of extrude back in. Or extrude out. You want it to look like there's some kind of machinery going on in there and we'll start adding some other kind of um, connections in here so let's go ahead and do that let's do a let's do a stroke and we will do let's make this smaller and we will go let's go from here and let's let's scale this up and we'll add some like wiring that goes in here wires to kind of add some details and we can actually add some wiring in here and go from there back. We can duplicate this 
edit, pulling this down, and then you got a little bit more detail. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just trying to add some kind of interest to this area to where when you look at it like this, you can start to see that there's something there, a little more interest. Uh, and we can start pushing a little bit more on the side right here. So if I were to edit this, we can push this out, coming up a little bit more. That way we can kind of feel like there's like an overhang a little bit. That way it's not just one dimensional. And let's see what else we can add. We can add more boxes too, but I'm just trying to add interest still. So you got the front. I kind of went a little bit nuts with this. It just kind of started to go its own direction. So I'm gonna have to start pulling and pushing points to actually match up to this. But you can start to see that I was uh, going a little bit of a different direction. But that's okay. We can start to fix it up and start going that route. We can start pushing down these points and matching up to this area. this come together and this will come together right there oh, too much right there and if I ever feel like I went too far with a different look or something I can I can always delete it or start over it doesn't really hurt anything you can start to see some of that dip more Batmobile so we're starting to get a little bit more detail a little more interest uh, I need one of these in the back so what I'll do is just create another um, kind of um, part so let's go and take this away let's delete and this model it's not the cleanest geometry right there so I got a lot of edge loops so let's go ahead and remove one so let's select loop grabbing it, deleting it, and that way we got a little more cleaner surface to go with as we do this. And let's go with that. just kind of round it out a little bit. And there's another, see, there's another cut right there that I don't really need, so we can actually go with this and remove, and then I'll resurface that. Maybe I didn't need that was a reason for that but let's let's, uh, let's modify let's modify per there we go just rounding this off what I want to do is just push it back to where there's actually geometry in here but then I can build on top of this if I were to go into something else so let's go ahead and see if we can add uh, with this and let's let's do this let's see if I can Grab that loop. Let me see what I can do. All right, grabbing a loop. I got it. Now I'm gonna push forward, but I want it on that loop. There we go. Now let's see. Grabbing and pushing. So now we got a little more detail right there. We're gonna add an edge loop. Crease that off, and so now we got an opening for that. But you can actually see that I can add one of these to the back to the Batmobile um, this little piece right here it's probably gonna be um, removed and I'll put another kind of edge loop or bumper on this as I connect these pieces I don't know if I'm gonna do it in this program or another program or keep it but we'll, we'll leave it there for now it's just so we have a reminder I'm gonna go ahead and add in the revolve it's on zero so let's go ahead and Go ahead and do. Is there any back shots to show us? It just kind of comes out like a like a thruster. So we'll just go out and in. We can go in. And that's okay. We can go ahead and fix this. We're gonna go to a different tool. So it's not on my eyes and edit. So let's edit this because really it's just gonna be like a thruster. We're gonna remove, remove. 
push back and remove and then we got that so we're going to push this up so it's locked in there and we can probably modify it some i'd like to push it up some more just enough and we can always add a loop or push this up as we need and edit that but we're not looking in there too much we just want this to kind of peek out and let's go ahead and go on the blue let's try to use these snap tools to actually get it to pull the same, same uh, direction so there we go it's a little bit down and if I can start adding some like little ridges on top of this let's see what we can do with it let's actually modify we can reset our weight, simplify points. So let's click that and see what it does. It didn't do enough. So let's go to low poly. No. So that's the only tricky thing about this um, using the revolve is that now I actually don't have um, a way to edit this as far as I know, unless there's another option to do it. I don't see any options to actually move points freely. Let's see what that does. That doesn't do it too well. One more poly count. Let's see. Let's see what this does. No. But it's pretty cool to be able to do this. It's just I wish you could control the edit. We could always edit this in another program. And that's probably what will happen, or I just add some details on top of this and go from there. And we can see what we can do. Let's see what where our tools lie. So we do have a revolve. And interesting to see. I'd have to center that point on there. And I saw one video where they actually did do a center point of doing that, but I'm not sure how to do that myself kind of learning some of these tools point mode what would that do Let's see if it actually gets me up an actual option to edit a different way no, same thing so you could probably do a different model and we could probably go into a cylinder let's see if I can grab a cylinder and do the same thing, we could probably get halfway there. So we'll go to subdivision, object, customize, yes. Create this point. Let's see if what we can do with this. Um, so let's see if we can edit this a little bit more. So we know where we want to go with it. We want it to be able to revolve around this. Just simplify these points up to subdivision to see where we're at. So we can go past 11. I can't go past 11, but might be able to do a, a cut in between each one and go from there, but then that's not really what I need. Let's go back. Let's go ahead and move this. Let's try it again. Customize and turn that off. And let's do it again. And see what we got. That works a lot better than what I was hoping for. So let's go ahead and grab this and put this in place. Uh, let's see if we can do that on a, on an axis. So go to primitive and center line. This should work a lot better. This worked good, but that, like I said, you can't edit it, so that's that's a little bit of a, a thing that that would become an issue later on. So let's go ahead and grab this and scale, scale. Let's grab this and let's move it up. Move it up and let's scale down. on this because this is on the center and we'll go ahead and edit it based on that let's scale that in and push okay we're gonna push this back 
and you got kind of a thruster so let's go ahead and see if we can edit let's grab it edit modify convert so we're on a good path and we'll turn that off so what we want to do is scale the center point and I want to see if we can use our tools so have these tools and I think it's this one that we can use that we can actually but it actually doesn't work like that I guess it probably needs to be I have to be a little bit um hoping that we could do it with the point so I don't really see it being available with the point so we're going to have to do it kind of eyeball this unless I can add an edge loop so let's go ahead and do that let's let's scale it down Let's see if we have enough points. I didn't count how many points each one was, but let's do it and see what we can do. We're just gonna freestyle this thing, I guess. Other programs, you could extrude a point. It's just so many. It's kind of a rough adjustment. Let's see if I can get this right. Pushed and pulled and extrude in. This is where I probably should use this. Tool. There you go. We got something going. This is. It's gonna work from a distance. You're not gonna go up there and be like, you know, like, hey, you didn't do this right. So, for what it is, it's working. It's working for what my needs are. Something happened right there. It's not locking. Yeah, it locked. And then you can see where I messed up my crease. I got a crease in it again. I guess that's when I took off the, the center point. So now we got like some of the back, some of the wing, some of the front. So we kind of spread the love of what we need and probably, you know, just going back and forth. I almost like that being there. It's just 
Let's modify that to make it part of the car. Just batten it up. Make, make it like a roll bar, I guess, inside of the Batmobile. Kind of works. Kind of. Is, kind of is the word, right? I could probably modify that mirror to match a little bit better, but. Okay. But that's most of the time for today. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better about this model. And it was more or less an exercise to start with uh, when I first started this model. And now it's kind of getting to where it's just it's a fun little project. Just getting back and forth, going from here to there. So I could turn this color back to its original color and let's go ahead and do that let's change it back to Batman Batman's color and we'll go a little bit more gray I like this clay it, it actually shows a little bit better than the reflective but you can see it's almost like a matte black in here so if I pull both triggers right here you can see the car got to fix some of the window right here it's kind of back and forth still kind of playing around with this model it's not perfect but it is fun so I'm going to my layers and unlocking the glass I know I said I was like gonna be done and I'm gonna jump back in it just one more thing and then pushing and pulling but you get the idea so Batmobile continuation of this still trying to add details still got these little pieces in there We can look inside and see what Batman sees Still got to work on the car. So got to get some little details in there if I really want to show more or just make it straight up reflective and we go from that But liking where it's going. It's been fun See you can start to see some of the detail like it's a little motor in there and stuff Normally, I don't think he has like exposed Oh, it's hard to say because you got a lot of weird stuff in here so yeah mixture of everything so just kind of mechanical smooth surfaces and uh, the wheels I'm gonna probably do in another program unless I can figure out how to fix you know the the revolve and and make it a mesh that would be fun if not we'll figure it out and just go from there pushing and pulling going back and forth so but yeah it's just short not a short video, but it's just lunchtime. So I appreciate you watching and I hope you have a good day.